Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now um, I'm coming on here today to show you what we're doing for our next page. Now this is, I've done the bottom part and the top part I'm going to do and show you how. Okay, so in the bottom bit we've just got a piece of calico and I put a piece of lace across it and I've got a piece here cut out to put across the top. Um, actually I should have done that before but I didn't know if it would fit in the book but it will so I can put something else in that page and now I've made a little booklet to, to put in I've actually got a piece of um, fabric that I printed this onto and it, I left the paper behind it because it made it look good it was stiff and that and then I just it didn't stitch I just put um, faux stitching around there okay I've used a bit of it's just a bit, a little bit of higgly piggly one, you know. There's just nothing particular. There's lots of places in there you can write though. There's lots of places in there you can do some journaling. So we'll put in little stories or something. So that gets down in there, and then I'm going to show you how to put this one on, and then we're going to do a bit of decorating for the the whole thing. Um, I was taking a little bit of time the other day. I did. Went. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, I'll get a piece of pink. A piece of pink. And hope everybody's having a good day. Raining here today. Weird weather. Really weird weather. Really beautiful day yesterday it was. Really good day yesterday. Maybe I didn't need to cut that much off. I'm only going to do a bit. <laughs> oh no, I've got to go around. Don't know, I've got to go around it. Okay. So all you need to do is just put stab stitches. And that's what I'm going to do with this. I, um... I want to make sure that we pin it on straight. I was going to take it around the back, but then I decided I'd cut it off, and I did cut it off, and that's okay. It looks fine. Um, this is actually going to be stuck into the journal, so it's up to you, you know, whether you put it around the back or on the top or whatever you want to do with your piece. It's fine. Okay, can I get a pin? We need a pin. Here we have a pin. So I need to do it reasonably straight, don't we? So I'll just try to put it in the middle and see if that works. Okay, so I'm going to... It's a shame I didn't do it when I was down. But we'll have two rows. It's all right. It's not going to worry. I'm going to put a knot in that. So I don't pull it through and then I have to redo it all. <laughs> I meant the whole lot of sewing. I didn't mean the piece of thread that I've got here. So just a piece of calico. And I'm going to measure mine in a minute and I'll tell you how big it is. But it just depends on your, the size of your page too. You know what what um, size this is going to be. I didn't want to put anything too dark as far as the thread goes on it because I want to try and keep it as, as a shabby sort of looking piece if I can. Um, I think I'll use that machine picture, some machine picture in there. I don't know yet because I have a few others there that I'm going to see if any of them work as well. So we just have a. This is more or less a. Um, we're just catching up with what I'm up to so we can go along. Now, if you've got that scooped out piece there, you can sew around it if you want to. I'm going to go straight across it because it, <coughs> excuse me, it, um, it'll it still work pretty good. You know, it looks, it'll look all right too. It's going straight across here. We're just making a pocket. And you can glue it if you want to. If you don't want to sew it in, you can glue it in. <coughs> it's up to you, sure thing. Baggy. Yeah, so it's raining. <laughs> anyway, I went out yesterday <clears throat> and I had to do a few things, so I had to go out because we're not in lockdown anymore here. Haven't had any cases now for a few weeks, so that's really good, but we still have to be very careful. Okay, and I had my um, I went and I bought myself some new nail polish <laughs> because I don't want to and my fingernails are my own now and they're not fake or anything. The nail polish I bought I think is really good. It's sort of coming off a bit there, that's okay because that's all right, I'm good. I'm, I'm handling all this, don't worry about it. <clears throat> I hope that's straight. Looks a bit skew with, doesn't it? I don't know. That's not too bad. <laughs> ah, it's funny, look at that. All right, I'll give it a little bit of lift. I'll be fine. I'll just push it up that way a bit. What have I got here? What have I done? I might have just pulled it too tight. I don't know. Anyway, so that's all good. Now, I'll just cut this off here. 
in here and those two pieces will have to be used in little snippets I suppose won't they that's what they can be for now I don't have my timer on but I'm not worried about that because I know what time I've got to finish sort of <laughs> um, and then we, whoops upside down upside down so then we've just got pieces of um, piece of pattern paper I've got a bit like this in here as well I printed off that and I put it on there and I think it'll go in there nicely but then I, like I said I have different images so let me see I'll just show you um, what I've got I have this this one here now some I printed off on a piece of calico and this was on the piece of paper that I bought so I was thinking about making these though into something else because they're round I don't know whether I was going to do that today or not I won't have time I have this image here this little girl I was thinking about putting that in and also have images here of um, thimbles and I thought that that might look good on a which way that way I thought that might look good or if I went with the color you see, oh, we've got this lady too. That she's, she's out there sewing um, things like have a book yeah, stamp. This one, I stamped that one. I stamped that one, and um, there's other coloured ones. I stamped. Hang on, we've got here. Oh, here is my first try. <laughs> Had to pull that off because I didn't like the mauve around it. But I also have this one here that I like, so I could go with the colours and put them in there. Oh, I can do the black and white one. I really like this here sort of ones. <clears throat> this is not on fabric, this is just a piece, and I can make a, a book behind it anyway, because I thought now that'd be good if I can <coughs> fit that in there still. Uh, I'm just going to put a bit of an idea where, somewhere, put it somewhere. Here's, here's a place. Here's a place. <coughs> So now whatever I put in there is not going to come over the top, is it? Okay. <coughs> now I have tutorials on how to do these. And I hope I can find one. I'll put it on down below in the description box. Um, I think these are pretty pretty good sewing pieces. I think these are really, really good. So I might use those two. Okay. I might make, um, I'll make one now for you. And that way you won't, I won't have to worry about putting the thing down the bottom will I? And I've got all this stuff here yet again, sorry about this <laughs> I have to have, I hope that's over the, covering that over now this is on fabric and this one here is on a piece of paper but I'm going to back it with something no, I'm going to put in a book, aren't I? let's make a little booklet and that's not hard at all, you just have some papers um, I've got some here that is on fabric, yes there's a mushroom. I must be making something out of this and give up. But no, I won't use it. There's nothing worse than trying to make something out of something you've mucked up that you don't like. So it's best to go to the next thing, isn't it? That's what I think anyway. So I went out and I got some bits and pieces. Bought ourselves some takeaway. I had Chinese and Jeremy had tucky fried which is okay, you know, because I haven't had anything like that for ages and neither has he. Um, and it was quite good, actually. Um, anyway, I ate my lunch. I was sitting out there. Watching, I actually just finished my dinner and was sitting at lunch, for lunch or dinner here in, in, in parks. <laughs> my age group, we call it that. Um, just random pieces of um, paper you want, okay that will fit behind here what I should have done was cut that out is that straight? it's reasonable it's pretty good now this bit here is a little bit sticking out that way ok so yeah so you want to um, so we did that I'm sitting there and I was having my lunch and I was watching a bit of something and the phone rang and Jeremy passed me the phone and said it's a lady from the doctors. Anyway, oh, here's a page I missed putting in the other one. I'll nick that for in here. Anyhow, uh, 
excuse me, uh, the nice girl said, son, you want to come down here now and have your injection, my vaccination? Oh, I said, oh, yeah, right, oh, yes, yes, I'll come, I'll be there. Wait a minute. That's not good. I stuck, I left this out. I left it out. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, ah. Uh, now what am I going to do? How's it ever going to get better? Will it get better? How do you save them if you leave them open? Is there a way? Anyway, so I'm going to put this on here. Anyway, so she said, can you be here by three o'clock? And that was nearly, nearly half past one, I think. I think. I said, oh, yeah, I can do that. So I had to get dressed again because I usually come home and get ready and go and have a nap. But I was <laughs> to get dressed again and off I went. It took me and Gertie, that's my scooter, and ten minutes to get there. And that was good because we made it in plenty of time. And I had my first vaccination. And there's nothing. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm all good. As far as I know, I'm all good today. A little, tiny little. There's a tiny little wasp in there where she. If I touch it, a little bit hurt. That's all. Work my arm. I got to do it on my right arm because I, I have a, a lot of trouble with the left one because of the um, arthritis in my shoulder. <coughs> so she put it in that side. And there was other people up there, of course, at the doctors. They must have made days when we can go. And then I've got an appointment. Jeremy's got his Wednesday, next, or Tuesday next week. He's going. And then she's put me down for the next one very soon. So that was good, sort of. Did not have a chance to think <laughs> about it. Just off I went. But I, I, I wouldn't have it. I don't know. Well, I just feel like it's a necessary thing. We should all... Do what it's up to everybody. That's their, their good choice. Um, well, the world's not giving as much of a choice if they're going to not let people go anywhere. But that's not why I did it. I want to. I don't want to be sick. I don't want to make anybody else sick. My oldest daughter's been fully vaccinated, and my youngest one is her. She might have had hers. She might get hers next week. I think they were a week behind. There was a week difference in when they were had had to go for theirs. So. Gilly goes next week to have her second one. And, um, yeah, so I don't... That made me a bit happy because now I can go out before December. <laughs> Maybe, you know, I might be able to go out somewhere in the beginning of November or something. Anyway, so... Because you still got to be careful way after. Like, you know, you've got to be careful after this. I'm going to just put some of these on here. So if you're watching me, I know I'm chatting away here, but I'm just putting a little book together, and I'm only just doing it by putting some little pages of paper in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't think I need any writing space. I don't want to do that because there's writing space in the thing anyway. I think so. And cut this one to fit in there. Why not? It'll be cool. As long as I don't cut these, because they're just sticking out because they're... I'll push back in far enough and I'll get to that in a minute. I'm going to remember that that pink one's the cover, this top one I mean. Well, that went skew with. Oh, that's not too bad, actually. And so, it was a big day. I slept like a log. I oh, did, I had a good sleep. I really did. Might have relieved some of the worry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I was worrying about anything, but, you know, sometimes we do. We do worry about things we don't know because our subconscious, you know, we're playing, doing stuff and, you know, thinking about things that shouldn't be, probably. Worrying about stuff that shouldn't be. I don't think I was worried, but um, I was just wanting to get it done so we wouldn't have to be thinking about or worrying about it. I need a bit of, I need a bit of blank space, don't I, so I can put some pages in here. And this is just rough willy nilly to me. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Rough nilly willy nilly. I don't know how many of these books I've made, but you know, you just you just make them. You don't have to worry about what they look like, the sides or anything. Just go and do it. Just go and do it. Make enough little pages that you're happy with. I'll, if I cover over the book, I like to make sure that there's enough place for them to write. If I cover over things in the book, like I'm going to be covering over the page with the, pat, with the thing that I'm making. So I need to have places where people can write, journaling space. 
or just write down little birthday things or, you know, things that they want to remember one day because <laughs> it's really good to have some things written down for, for later. <laughs> it really is. I don't know if my, um, my eldest daughter mightn't like it when she reads what I wrote down, but there's only things that she did, wasn't <laughs> Like, you know, a school dress and things like that. And if she she remember it anyway, she would. She knows what she'd done, <laughs> maybe. Anyway, so that's got to go that way, right up the right way. That's upside down. How about the other one? Yeah, that is it. I must have turned the, the colour over and just left all this. So turn them all up the right way. Grab yourself a needle and thread because there's bits of the pattern about so you can see that that's what it is. But there's also, um, I'm going to start before I cut. I'm going to cut along there with a bit of, with me pink and shears in a minute. So I'm going to try and get them all reasonably in the same place. If you give it a bit of a tuck and a whatever. Yeah, I'll have a cotton here on a needle somewhere. I must do because I've been playing around this morning with bits. The the pink one, it can go on there because there's pink on the outside of that thing, isn't there? There is pink on it, so I'm going to thread a needle, just an ordinary needle. I haven't got many pages, so we're not going to have to worry about making a hole because this should go straight through there like that, which it does. And then you want to go up here. This is a free hole pamphlet stitch. I think, except the way that I ended off might not be the same as everybody else's. I think everybody is everybody's a bit different. We all like to do our own thing sometimes. It's good to have stick with the you know the right way too. But I just go underneath there, catch that, and then tie it up. I mean, I don't think it's much different. And that's really pretty easy, isn't it, to do those? Okay. One knot and two knots. It's sad day. It's sad day today. <laughs> I sometimes just remember, you know, what day it is because you think you're not thinking sometimes about it. Now I'm going to use these, which seem really hard to work for some reason for me. They're really hard to work. And I'm cutting everybody. All right, I'm cutting the whole lot. I'm just going to, well, it might not cut the whole lot, but it will have the outside bit like this the outside pages and some of the edges and this one's not fabric this front page not like the other one was that I use well, I'll use for something anyway there's going to be a something for it I know my scissors don't belong down there but I don't want to put them up here because I'll clank on everything too okay so I just pushed all that over there out of the way and we have this now, so we can put this in there. And what was the other one I'm going to use? This pretty one here. I'm going to use that in the top. I could use the other one that I made, but I can use it in something else. Because, you know, one can be black and white, I suppose. It doesn't really matter what colours you put in. It's not going to, not going to worry, I don't think. And then that's got to go in there, like so. All right. I might just leave that, that. I might just leave that there. I think I like that a bit. I might put the thicker one down the bottom because that that book's a bit thicker. I'll put it down the bottom. Put this one in the top. This one here in the bottom. Righto. Now that's going to stick down into the page, and then we need to put a few decorations on it. But we can do those before we stick that in because I just want to do it like that. Okay. Put that other page out there. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of something, something. So this is in here, but we're imagining this is what we'll put it in. Okay, so you need to put something on here that you're, you're pleased with. I keep seeing this green button at the top off that pin, thinking that's a button, but it's not. These are some nice little ones, aren't they? I have some mother of pearl here too. I have a lot of those actually. Um, they look good. Nice some little pins. We need things to, to do with to do with what we're doing, don't we? Sewing. I don't know if I should cut that off or leave it leave it full. Hmm. 
No, I think that's not not what I'm after today. Better move my dress out of the way. Um, let me just give a little bit of a an idea of what we want to put on it. Okay, so I found a, found a blue pin. There wouldn't nothing be wrong with having a blue pin, is there? I don't think I'll be sewing anymore, so I'm going to put it in the book because that way I'll feel like I've got, you know, I can work with that because I want to take it, I want to put the things off the side a bit onto the next part, okay? Um, well, I'll put it here. I suppose I can put it here, and, and this one here has to be covered. So um, I'm going to put it here, okay? So I'll put some glue, a fair bit of glue around it, I think, and, and some at the centre, okay? So we'll do this. It was coming out a minute ago now. Come on, don't let me down. Is it pretty good? It is glue. I'm going to have to get some of that glue fairy in mind to come give me some more. A good lady, Julie. I have to get it. She said she was going to be for some refill. Either that or I have to send it away for some anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't want to, didn't really want to have to get her here to do it. That doesn't seem right. She wanted to put some more in here, but I don't know if we put. I don't think I did. I gave her some something for something but I don't know if it's for this glue I don't think so I'm going to buy my own bottle anyway I don't like transporting it from one thing to the other it's only what I can think of after I started out with saying trans <laughs> moving I don't like tipping it from one container to the other because to me to my way of thinking it doesn't work properly the glue then I, it's, I know that's silly but I just have that thing in my head that I don't think I like it because it doesn't I mean, it doesn't work properly. Now I'm going to press that down. There's a bit there which I don't want on there because it'll get stuck. I right know. I'm pushing everything else, but that's all right. It's all good. It's all sitting there nicely still. So this is going in the top because of the. I don't know because it's not as thick as the other one. Now I've said in the past that you should put something behind the lace, but this is not that that open. You know, it's up to you whether you put a piece of paper or something, glue it onto the paper first before you put it in there. That's your thing. You know, if you want to do that. Okay, so um, I have a pair of scissors on this thing here. I've got another one of these. It's that stuff that's already cut. Hang on a second, I might be a minute. I'm just looking for a bit of something for that thing. Something for the thing. Okay. I'll take these things out of here so I can lift this across here. There's a feather. And we'll find something to put on there now that's a nice button I like that color going with the really oh, I do like that color too but this is not what we're really after is it we were looking for some more scissors more scissor pictures than what I have here I need more scissor pictures uh, I've got that bit there Love those buttons. I could put something like that on there, I suppose. <clears throat> Need a mother of pearl, these ones too. I do like to put things on there, then take them off and just see what the difference is. <laughs> see what it looks like. I don't know whether to make a... Um, I need a thing down here. I need a thing down there, right? So, get a piece of paper. Get a piece of paper, Sonia. Just a bit of paper. That's what you need here. This bit's good work <laughs> and 
That's enough. And a piece of lace. I don't know if I want that black line though. Do I need that black line on there? It is part of the thing after all. Hang on a minute. <laughs> if I've got to have something behind it, I'd rather have this circly thing. Okay. And it was supposed to be long too, not square. But that's alright, that's not too bad. <clears throat> and these are real easy to make, these little bits that go behind things, aren't they? Real easy to make. Or not behind. Yeah, well these are going to go behind something, but what I'm trying to say is this... Um, if you build up these things all together, it makes a really good um, piece to stick on. This is toning in with that bit there. And I'm going to start sticking these onto one another because I don't want to pull it apart and then think, what have I got to do now? Because I forgot. Righto, so that's going to go that like that. Now, I have this here. In, I love little pins with bits on. I do like making these. I have a lot of those. Now this is cut on the cross, this piece of material, so it's not going to... Um, it's not going to do what we're thinking. Okay. It won't fray. It will not fray because... It's cut on the cross. I'm having this flower on here. I'm going to get the needle and thread because I need to do a button. I need to put the button on. So you want two pieces of thread. You go through there. Come back through here. And I've got two pieces because I think it's going to make it a little bit more sturdy and fill it up quick. Fill up the buttonhole quick. All right. Do I want it on the front or the back? I think I might have made a mistake with that. Come up here, go back through. <laughs> Come up from the back to the front. Up from the back to the front, go back down in there. Keep hold of it, don't let it go. Go through again because we want to have something to stick the glue to. And come back again. And then we'll cut that off. But I don't want to take it all away. I'm going to cut it all off because I want to keep a bit so it can hang down or stick out or whatever. Where's my little business? Here we go. Come here. <laughs> Other things coming off. And that's okay. We're good with it. It'll stick back on when I move it. Won't I? It will do that for me. And we're going to have a pin on there as well. Right. Which way am I going to put the pin? Now I'm going to put this up the top, I think, instead of in the centre. I think that looks really cool. I do love making these things. So I'll make sure they stick down first. They've got to stick down. Now I want one, one, one string of thread. So I'll put a, a knot in this side. Come on. Put a knot in there. Got him. I'm thinking... Maybe I could have a bit of rickrack or something. Maybe that should go over here too. I thought of that too as well, what I was thinking. I'll show you in a minute when I get it organised. Where are we? Here. Things to do with sewing is what we need. There was a um an in, a thing in, in, from, in England, a thing, a series that's from England, for the best, um, it was a sewing bee for the best home sewer. And I, I found that, well, I found it on BritBox. And I watched the first season last night, and gee, it was good. The lady, she was 80 years old, one of that, um, she won that, what's her name, uh, episodes. She could sew. Other ladies could too, don't get me wrong. But I think her, her sewing and her 
um, abilities, I suppose, you did over the years. What is the piece of that rickrack stuff I said I was going to use? I don't think I want that. I guess I found some really bright pink, but I don't think I need that one. Um, so she... Oh, goodness. Whew. <laughs> That's a nice lolly colour. <laughs> um, yeah, so she she won it, but oh, some of them were under a lot of pressure. Couple of couple of men that were doing it. One of, one of them used to make all his costumes for these for any steampunk um, things that they had, and he made the costumes he made was amazing. But see, when you haven't done anything like he, they ask him to do, it isn't easy to even if your work is good you know, good quality, if you can't, you know, you've got to go and learn, and you might practice as good, you know, you know, you need to practice different things, but, and he was really good, but he was, he, he, he had never put a zipper in before, and one, one zipper we, he put in, but he used to make these amazing costumes that him and his wife and daughter wore to these things, because um, they showed that, and then there were other people on there, you know, other lady other ladies and, and another man, and he was really good too. He was very adventurous, which is really a good thing, you know, because you want to be out there and have a go, you know, try something different, and he did, and he was he was really cool. And I would need one another one of those, don't I, a different colour. I do have more, because see, she's too bright, isn't she? <laughs> anyway, you can come on and tell me what you think if she's too bright. Now, I think I'm going to leave it at that stage for, for the time being because I think that there's enough. Maybe I should put a little stamp or something on those. I don't know. See, the idea will be whatever I cover this with has got to try and um, match in with that. Now, what have I got here to put over the top of it? I suppose I can just sit that bit of that book over there. Partly the way of the See, I've got to put something here, and then when I do that, I'm going to be able to get them to match in sort of thing, okay? So they look right together. All right. Cool. Very good. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. I don't think this is going to come out. I'm a little bit concerned about that when I looked at it then, because it was... The only thing I can do is very carefully cut a piece off the bottom there. Why not we do that now? Wait a minute. I'll just... well, I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Okay, let's try to do this. We're going to do it. We don't have to worry about trying. We're going to do it. Okay, a bit more. Got it. Right. Now, I didn't cut the cotton and I didn't do anything bad. I don't think it's all good. Still all good. Well, the, the original idea that I had was a lot smaller because I had, <laughs> I was going to do three pockets, but when I made this first thing here <laughs> that all went by the wayside you know because I'm going to cut the top off this one too because it was just um, I thought oh I've got this cut this picture cut out to this size I have to use the picture you see it wouldn't occur to me that I needed smaller pictures I should have needed smaller pictures and I haven't cut across the bottom of this one either on the outside so I'm going to do this okay dokey in the last video I put up, I talked about how the video before that was one that I really mucked up and I didn't like it, so I actually didn't end up putting that up. So I'm sorry about that. You didn't get to watch me screw up the piece of stuff that I was making. And sorry about that. Anyway, so here we go. That I, I like that. I think that turned out quite well, especially when I cut that down a bit, eh? That just worked really good. like it. Yep, like that bit. Good, I'm happy. Got to try and we won't organise that page yet. There's still bits. There's a lot to go. I'm still, I'm still working on it all. It's all still got to go, but I haven't done a lot in here without you. So, you're going to be able to keep up with me anyway. Okay, but on more fabric and um, what's the name laces and things I can put in. You know, the better. I like it. Okay, so thank you everybody for watching, and I will talk to you later. Okay, bye bye.